Hello, my name is Tim Clawbaugh. I'm the organist and music director at St. Mary's Church. Thank you for joining me for the 30th day of our 33-day consecration to St. Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, send down those beams which you sweetly flow in silent streams from thy bright throne above. O come, thou Father of the poor, O come, thou source of all our store, come, fill our hearts with love. O thou of comforters the best, O thou the soul's delightful guest, the pilgrim's sweet relief. Rest art thou in our toil most sweet, refreshment in the noonday heat, and solace in our grief. O blessed light of life thou art, fill with thy light the inmost heart of those who hope in thee. Without my Godhead nothing can have any price or worth in man, nothing can harmless be. Lord, wash our sinful stains away, refresh from heaven our barren clay, our wounds and bruises heal. To thy sweet yoke our stiff necks bow, warm with thy fire our hearts of snow, our wandering feet recall. Grant to thy faithful, dearest Lord, those only hope is thy sure word, the sevenfold gifts of grace. Grant us in life thy grace that we in peace may die and ever be in joy before thy face. Amen. Day 30, Patron of the Dying, pray for us. A quote from Blessed William Joseph Chaminade. The name of Joseph will be our protection during all the days of our life, but above all at the moment of death. St. Joseph died a holy and happy death. He died gazing upon Jesus and resting in the arms of Mary. What greater death could a person experience? God has designated St. Joseph as the patron of the dying because he wants us to experience a death similar to that of St. Joseph, a holy and happy death. Death is a part of life, but it is not an easy part of life. Letting go and saying goodbye to family and friends is not easy. In many monasteries, there are signs that read, Memento Mori, Remember, You Will Die. The sign is not meant to be morbid, but rather to serve as a reminder that our life on earth will come to an end and we will need to be prepared for death. We need to be prepared for death because Satan always tries to get a soul to despair and turn away from our loving God at the hour of death. Ask any priest and he will tell you that a spiritual battle takes place over a soul at the hour of death. For this reason, we need the intercession of our spiritual father to fortify us, protect us, and fill us with a trust in God's love and mercy. A quote from St. Alphonsus Liguori. Jesus granted him, St. Joseph, the special privilege of safeguarding the dying against the snares of Lucifer, just as he had also saved him, Jesus, from the schemes of Herod. St. Joseph is your personal patron. St. Joseph is everyone's personal patron because everyone is going to die. None of us is going to be here forever. You have a loving spiritual father who can help you prepare for death. On his deathbed, St. Joseph himself must have been concerned about the future of his wife and son. Would they suffer? Would they be treated cruelly by others? Would their future be a, ha a happy one? Yet St. Joseph had boundless confidence in God's love and mercy. He died trusting in the divine providence, full of confidence that God would take care of his wife and son. With St. Joseph in your life, you do not have to be fearful of death either. When your time comes, St. Joseph will help you experience a happy and holy death. A quote from the Catechism of the Catholic Church. The Church encourages us to prepare ourselves for the hour of our death. In the Litany of the Saints, for instance, she has us pray from a sudden and 
unforeseen death, deliver us, O Lord. To ask the Mother of God to intercede for us at the hour of our death, in the Hail Mary, and entrust ourselves to St. Joseph, the patron of a happy death. The Catechism tells us that in order to prepare for death, we should entrust ourselves to St. Joseph. In other words, consecrate yourself to St. Joseph to prevent an unhappy death, a death that catches us unprepared without the last sacraments. Prepare for it by now by consecrating yourself to St. Joseph and living a holy life. In giving everything to St. Joseph, death will not catch you unprepared. Today, many people are not prepared for death. They do not consider their mortality, living as if they are immortal and immune to the grave. The finality of death will be a torture for such people. As for you, live a pious life in union with the Church. Remain in the state of sanctifying grace. Go to confession and Holy Communion frequently. Give everything to St. Joseph. A quote from Blessed William Joseph Chaminade. He, a servant of St. Joseph, will beg of him the grace of dying as he himself did with the kiss of Jesus and in the arms of Mary. A quote from Venerable Nelson Baker. Happy are you if your death has the assistance of St. Joseph. Then no matter if flames devour you or waters overwhelm you or disease slays you, the prayers of St. Joseph will throw, throw around you an all-protecting mantle of defense. And together we pray the prayer of the Holy Cloak Novena. O glorious Patriarch St. Joseph, you who are chosen by God above all men to be the earthly head of the most holy families, I beseech you to accept me within the folds of your holy cloak that you may become the guardian and custodian of my soul. From this moment on, I choose you as my father, my protector, my counselor, my patron, and I beseech you to place in your custody my body, my soul, all that I am, all that I possess, my life, and my death. Look upon me as one of your children. Defend me from the treacheries of my enemies, invisible or otherwise. Assist me at all times in all my necessities. Console me in the bitterness of my life, and especially at the hour of my death. Say but one word for me to the Divine Redeemer, who you are, deemed worthy to hold in your arms, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary, your most chaste spouse, request for me those blessings which will lead me to salvation. Include me among those who are most dear to you, and I shall set forth to prove myself worthy of your special patronage. Amen. As we conclude day 30, let us finish by praying the litany of St. Joseph. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. O God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste Guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous Defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph Most Prudent, pray for us. Joseph Most Courageous, pray for us. Joseph Most Obedient, pray for us. Joseph Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Patience, pray for us. Lover of Poverty, pray for us. Model of Workmen, pray for us. Glory of Domestic Life, 
pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, graciously hear us, Lord. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household and prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. For those that have the complete Consecration to St. Joseph book, I invite you to spend some time today reading Patron of a Happy Death, which can be found on page 206. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.